Hello, my beautiful divine seekers. I felt compelled to just turn on the camera and talk to you for a moment because I've been getting downloads about this in the last few days and I keep forgetting. So I am just in the parking lot right now. I'm about to do some grocery shopping and I turned on the camera to talk to you about this beautiful human body and what it means to us, especially us as spiritual seekers. Now, this video is about really understanding who we are as a soul in this human body, the choice we made to come here and that it is a gift. It is a gift to be here in this incarnation right now. And I know that a lot of people in the spiritual community are making a lot of comments and talking in videos about, oh, this meat bag, oh, you know, I just want to go home, like, as though the body is just this thing that we are forced to jump into to live out our incarnation. And this is so wrong. This is wrong. It could not be further from the truth. We all made a decision to come here. Well, all of us who are watching anyways, in very low vibrational states, the first, the second density, perhaps incarnation is more automatic. But you and me, there's a reason why we chose to incarnate in a human body. And not only once, but again and again and again. I mean, if the body was such a lowly thing, if the body was such a thing to be kind of discarded and to just not be loved if the body was not a beautiful and desirable thing why would we incarnate again and again and make that choice from the higher realms from the fifth dimension the sixth dimension where we're just floating around as little souls why would we make the choice to come down and incarnate in this 3d body I'm going to tell you why, because the third dimension is a very special, very specific gift. It's a gift. It is the first dimension where we as souls are conscious. We are conscious of our human self and our divine self. And it is the only dimension we, where we are able to live as a complete individual unit and experience ourselves as an individual. It's the first dimension where we are conscious, but we forget who we are. So we get to experience life fresh and new and clean and clear, almost like a clear, clear slate when we are born. And this is actually a gift because in higher dimensions, we usually do remember where we come from. We know that we are connected, which is also beautiful, but the most raw, the most, I would say, vivid, the most grounded and solid dimension where we live as human or, or as conscious beings is the third dimension. And we choose to come here because it is a unique and incredible experience. Nothing is like being in a third dimensional human conscious body where our soul knows we are more but we don't know exactly how we are connected, where we can feel and experience everything in such a solid, raw way. And the body is not just a thing. Our Earth Mother planet, our Mother Gaia, brought forth the physical human form. Our Earth Mother is third dimensional. The trees, the landscape, the mountains, the animals are third dimensional at the moment. I know we're ascending, but we are still third dimensional. So enjoy it while it lasts. I know we all want to ascend, but this is a very, very special time. And I know that our human bodies, they are so... They don't last very long. I see, you know, <laughs> especially right now, I am here without a stitch of makeup on. I barely brushed my hair. When I look into the mirror, I see the signs of aging. I know my body's not lasting. I have gray hair. You know, the skin isn't perfect anymore. There is so much imperfection in the human body. But it's, it's so real and so raw. And your human body is a 
beautiful divine creation of the third dimension with magic happening. Imagine the soul and the body merging, how the brain works, how the genetic works in us. It is, it is truly, truly amazing. And the first time that I really understood how precious the human body is and how precious each one of us is, how precious Natasha is, is when I did my first past life regression. And I regressed into a past life where I had such a happy, beautiful, beautiful life. I was in the Dominican Republic. I used to live there and now I know the connection. I lived in the Dominican Republic about a hundred years ago as a woman named Maria in the sugarcane fields, working hard in the sugarcane fields. I was strong, I was beautiful, I had dark skin. I felt good in my body. I felt so good in my body and I had a, such a, I had a husband and children. I had a physically hard life, but it was a beautiful life and I loved my life. And in that past life regression, when at the very end of the regression, we draw the last breath, and we move out of the body and then we see the body there. At that moment, I realized how precious, how precious human life is. And I was crying and crying and crying and now I'm even getting emotional because that person, that human being, Maria, she had given me a beautiful life. She had given me a unique perspective she she was such a beautiful creature such a beautiful thing to have carried my soul and merged with my soul and i was so sad to leave her i was so sad to leave her and i saw her there and the body was lifeless <clears throat> because i had gone away i had, I had you know <clears throat> left her and in that moment i realized how beautiful it is to be given the gift of living in a human body in being able to have this unique experience and how the body part of us is so dependent on us for life. It's like our human part is like our, a baby. It's like our child that depends on us to treat it right, to feed it, to make sure that we do the right decisions for it because we are the stronger part. We are the stronger part and we are the part that comes through strongly and that makes the decisions. So. Our human counterpart is like our best friend. It's like our, it, it serves us so well. And it's such a beautiful creation. And I was so sad to leave Maria. I was heartbroken. It was like watching my child die. Okay. And I'm letting myself bring out this emotion so you can kind of understand the importance of the human body in each human body. And this has always been a really sad part for me, leaving our body behind when our soul continues because our soul does not die, our soul continues. But recently I had another download because I was thinking about this. Every time I think of Maria, I start crying, I start crying. So recently I was kind of thinking and asking about this and wondering about the human experience and the soul and the incarnation and I had another download and I was shown I was shown that when the body dies and goes back to the earth we don't leave the body behind we as a soul we integrate the body the lifetime the energy the matrix the genetic imprint everything that the body was or is, we take it with us. We don't leave our body behind completely. We just leave behind the cells. But that beautiful creation, that, that creature, that being, that perhaps is a little hard to define, but, but this part of us, this human part of us, we take it with us and it becomes part of our soul. So I know that when I have to leave Natasha behind. Sorry guys, I'm so emotional. Oh my God, what's going on? I don't know if I'm gonna publish this video. <laughs> Crying with no makeup, I must look horrible. Anyways, when I know that Maria is part of me, she's part of me, I took her with me. I took her energy, her beauty, her matrix, her genetics, 
everything that she was, I took her with me and she is with me. She is part of me and she changed me. So in your beautiful human incarnation right now, honor your body, honor the part that is you as a physical being, because this is the part that will integrate with your soul. And when you leave this planet as a soul, you will take that person with you and it will change you forever. Each physical incarnation changes your soul forever. It makes you more, it gives you, it gives you a broader experience. So it consoled me a little bit <laughs> because I know that Maria, she's with me. She's integrated into me. I don't know exactly how to explain it, but that's how it is. And each time we have an incarnation, the person who we are makes us richer and better and, and deeper. And this person makes us different in our next incarnation because part of that person is with us as well. So imagine all those incarnations you have had on planet Earth. You are integrating them all. You, you are those people. You have the matrix, the energy, the, the personality, the characteristics of all those beautiful human parts and human pieces that you lived within you and that makes you who you are. So don't ever diss the body. Don't ever say, ah, this body. Don't ever do that. No matter what experience you're having with pain, with problems, with being, being too overweight, being too thin, whatever it is, being old, you know, looking haggard, <laughs> you have to love and cherish your human body, your human part, and say thank you every day for giving me this beautiful experience and making me richer as a soul, making me who I am, helping me evolve. And as star seeds, the incarnations we had on other planets are part of us too. That's that's why it's so important. Okay. Okay, so that's what I wanted to tell you. So if you're having trouble in the comments, oh, I just want to go home. You are home. You are home. Wherever your soul chooses to go, that's where you're at home because you chose it. I'm at home. My body is my home right now. Natasha is home for me. And I cherish it every single day. And I am loving my own body, my own Natasha more and more every day and being kind and loving to her, to me, <laughs> right? Self-love is loving your human part and doing the best you can and treating it the best, him or her or yourself the best. So self-love is honoring Mother Gaia, is honoring your incarnation, is honoring this beautiful creation that you are, okay? And I just wanted to put that out there for you okay so love you all <laughs> i hope you could you could bear with me in my look today here and i'm just gonna show you a little bit of mother gaia what i'm looking at take a look at this this is what i'm looking at <laughs> i'll i'll show you here look at these beautiful mountains there who says that 3d is not beautiful and wonderful and to be honored and to be loved who says it's not? And I'm going to go into the country grocer here and buy myself some beautiful, beautiful vegetables and fruits of the Earth Mother Gaia to celebrate 3D. Okay, so enjoy it while you are still here in 3D. Okay, bye. Love you guys. Ciao for now.